So you guys can see right here, the wig is glueless. All right, guys, so we are going to go ahead and talk through this video today. It's very simple. I will leave the specs right here on this unit. This is a pre-cut lace unit, guys. It is a closure unit, and the closure spacing on this unit is absolutely big enough to style and profile, guys. So this is going to be a very simple video today, guys, because this unit is actually pretty glueless. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a quick trick that works, especially when you want it to be flawlessly glueless. I'm going to show you guys how to quickly spray and lift the wig up so then you still get that flawless finish. Now the unit came pre-cut as you guys can see it has this little ridges on here I do go in the front area right here and just cut a little bit off of this one Another thing with the unit guys it already came with the baby hairs cut and styled like this So when you receive the unit the baby hairs are already going to be cut and styled in this formation The only thing I did with this unit guys was wash it let it air dry with a little bit of can to leave-in conditioner It is 24 inches long and it is a very 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 pretty unit guys like very very pretty so let me go ahead and pop it on my head i already adjusted the strap in the back it comes with a nice adjustable strap there are no hooks in the back but there are combs that are added to the side so you can go ahead and use it all right guys so let me go ahead and give you a close-up view of this unit so this is what it looks like it does have combs in it so you can go ahead and push the combs in to place it correctly on your head um, I really don't like using the comb because so I don't want to snag in my head like that, but I did, I do use it for this wig just because it stays in place. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a little bit of this lace off right here, and you guys can see that the baby hairs are already formulated for you right here, so uh, you all you got to do is just add a little product to it and make it do a nice swoop so it's not too much in the way. If it's too much hair, you can go ahead and just pull some of the hair up, but... I don't really have an issue with that. I think the hair, the baby hairs look perfect. Um, so like I said, I'm going to cut some of this, a little bit of this lace right here off. And then I'm going to spray it one time. And then I'm going to show you guys how, to, how it's going to come out looking. Try it. Alright guys, so I got a pair of scissors. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut a little bit of this lace right here in the front. Not too much of it, but just a good amount of lace in the front. Like I said, it's already pre-cut. But I'm just making sure I get a little bit more of the lace cut off. So even if it's not like a little edge, like perfect. So it's not a lot of lace there. That's how I kind of wanted it. So then I could place it in position. So... Now that we have that in place, what I'm going to do is go ahead and just spray. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and spray the perimeter like I said. And we're going to do one spray on each side. Two sprays on each of these sides right here. And I'm running out of this spray. This is a spray that my subby sent me. And this spray is bomb.com, y'all. Bomb.com. Okay, so we got that evenly sprayed out on both edges. If you want to readjust it a little bit, you can. So I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. And then you get these sprays in. So what I'm going to do now is fix the baby. All right, guys. So for the baby hairs, I'm going to use spray a little bit of the even on the baby hairs. A little bit of the even wonder lace. I like the even wonder lace for the baby hairs just because it keeps the style and formation. Like I said, even though I'm going to pop this wig right on off, I still want the baby hairs to stay on the closure wig in a certain formation. Y'all, If y'all know what I mean. Y'all see that? Okay, I still want them to, you know, have a look. So then when I pop the wig off and pop the wig back on, it'll pretty much stay that way. All right, y'all, so we're going to go ahead and do a lift with this unit. So I'm sliding my comb right through the bottom of the wig. And of course, it's going to flake off a little bit, but we're not going to worry about that too much. So we're going to do a slide and a up and down. Alright guys, so this was a very simple install. We didn't really do too much with this unit as far as getting it to be installed. Um, like I said, I did co-wash this unit and I ended up using the Cantu Grapeseed Straightening Curling Cream. They have a new one, so I ended up using this one. I'll leave an Amazon link down below for you guys. That's basically the product that I put in the hair to keep the hair nice and nourished and so it can emphasize the curls for you guys. I will turn around and show you guys what the back looks like, but I absolutely love this unit, guys. I think it looks good. And like I said, it's glueless. You just readjust it. But like I said, for the video purposes, I want to show you guys yet again how to make the wig look glueless but still kind of like stay in position and look flawless. Sometimes the spray just helps the, the knots on the wig just kind of like really clear through, if you know what I mean. Um, a lot of times when I have units and it, the wig looks a little bit funny, once I spray, it seems like the wig comes to life. So you're just basically doing a pre-spray before installing the wig and then just, you know, sliding that comb across and lifting that joint up so you guys can see right here the wig is glueless so there is no glue on here it's glueless and seamless at the same time look at that look at that look at how beautiful that looks 
The baby hairs look very nice on this unit as well too. If it's too much for you guys, I would recommend to go ahead and use a tweezer just to trim some of the baby hairs. But I don't really mind. I liked how the middle part has that look. Um, and yeah, what I think I would do to this one is add like a little bit of layer in the front here. On the bottom portion right here, you won't really be able to see the tracks on the unit. It kind of covers pretty well the way that they put the tracks. And you guys can see that this cap is a breathable cap. So um, the back is just tracks like your original track cap wigs, which I do like because it kind of lets your hair in the back breathe in the summertime. So this is definitely a great vacation wig. It's not going to keep your head all sweaty and stuff like that. And you'll be perfectly fine on a trip. So this wig actually just made it in time for my trip that's coming up this week. So I'm actually going to bring this wig with me just because I really, really love it. I feel like the wig looks very, very pretty, very, very natural. And like I said, it's effortless. You literally just take it on and put it right back on. You know, take it off and on. So you really can't go wrong with that. I think Beauty Forever here definitely did something with this one, guys. All right, guys. So I'll leave all the information down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's hair video. It's the perfect wig for the spring, summertime, vacation time is coming up. And like I said, you guys are going to see me sporting this one just because it's giving glueless, Pretty girl vibes, very simple vibes, and like, come on, sis. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will catch you guys in a later one. Bye.